Hello everyone. Welcome to Vasomotor Heal Your Heart EECP Treatment Center. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about second opinion in cardiology. Usually in cardiology, when a patient is uh, asked to or recommended for a bypass surgery or angioplasty, the second opinion is very crucial. So when you go to the cardiac evaluation, your cardiologist might do a couple of uh, investigation on you. So this includes blood test to identify whether you are a diabetic or you have a high cholesterol level and then it is followed by a lot of other tests. For example, ECG. ECG or electrocardiogram is done to assess the electrical signal across your heart. And then you may ask to do an echocardiography. Echocardiography is done to assess the heart myocardial function or the pumping function of the heart and also the valve functions. And then you may ask to do a treadmill. Treadmill is used to find out how much effort you can able to tolerate without getting into any cardiac symptoms. And then beyond that, you have other tests like uh, calcium scoring. So calcium scoring is a CT scan which is used to find out how much calcium is in your arteries. And then you can do a myocardial perfusion scan. So this is advised when the cardiologists want to know how much blood flow is in your heart muscles. Even if there is a blockage, this myocardial perfusion can, scan can show you how much blood flow is going beyond the blocked arteries. And finally, an uh, invasive procedure which has its own risk is coronary angiogram. The coronary angiogram is done to find out whether there is a block in a coronary artery and how much the blocks are and where it is situated. It is very crucial to decide whether the patient would be benefited with bypass surgery or angioplasty. So when you do all the tests, usually a cardiac patient may have a couple of these tests or all of the tests is already done. So based on that, your cardiology is going to make a very crucial decision whether you need to undergo an intervention procedure or conservative management. So basically having all the tests in your in their hand, your cardiologist or cardiothoracic surgeon is going to uh, give you a call to say which mode of uh, which modality of treatment he's going to choose. There is only two ways. So the one first way is called conservative management, and the second way is called uh, highly invasive surgical or uh, interventional procedures, which includes your bypass and angioplasty. So when the decision is made that you have to go for a highly invasive procedure, whether it is a bypass surgery or angioplasty then taking a second opinion is very crucial because as a patient you should know whether going for this procedure your benefit is high or risk is high or if there is no benefit at all. So the reason why there is a lot of controversy in choosing this bypass and angioplasty in a stable patient, I am very specific to say a stable patient, so I will give a link, you can able to see that what a stable patient means. So in this stable patient, Mostly bypass and angioplasty can be safely deferred or avoided. So uh, second opinion can give you whether these surgeries are done under what intention. Usually I have seen in many of the cardiology circle, academic discussion and in conferences, most of the cardiologists, in fact all of the cardiologists has accepted interventional procedures in the stable patient, it means uh, bypass surgery or angioplasty is done only to improve the quality of life of the patient. It means this procedure may have a risk, but if the patient can able to tolerate the risk and overcome the risk, he may the, these procedures may able to provide little bit symptom relief in the sense of the shortness of breath, tiredness and angina or chest pain from walking. This all will reduce. This is what a surgical option could be able to provide to the stable patient. But in fact, uh, this conversation in cardiology conference is not translated when it is being spoken to the patient or during a patient counseling. Most of the patient, uh, I'm not sure it is because the cardiologist is saying that or the patient has pursued, uh, pursued that. And they believe and they undergo this highly invasive surgical procedure thinking they may be able to reduce the chance of getting heart attack or prevent heart attack, prevent death and live longer. Of course, this is not a condition in 80 to 90 percent of the patient who is going for a bypass surgery or angioplasty. So, in our clinic, as an expert second opinion, we may able to clearly explain to you and give it in writing a recommendation 
that yes, you've been advised for this highly invasive procedure, whether your risk is high or benefit is better, or you are being asked to go for this procedure only for quality of life benefit and not for any uh, reduction in your uh, uh, chance of getting a heart attack or your chance of uh, death because of heart attack or living longer. So, patient should understand bypass angioplasty is a uh, end stage treatment. It is not a first line treatment for patient with coronary artery disease. Here, when you talk about a conservative management, I highly interventional procedure, they should try conservative management and the cardiologist should certify they have tried all the conservative management, it all failed and the patient has a poor quality of life and then they can able to subject this patient for a interventional procedure to relieve the symptoms, not to uh, reduce the risk of heart attack or death. So the conservative treatment is a group of a strategy. It includes risk factor reduction, your lifestyle change, your cholesterol reduction, blood pressure control, your diabetic control and also we have uh, medications which can able to reduce your symptoms and uh, reduce your chances of death and heart attack and significantly we have a new treatment called enhanced external counterpulsation which can able to restore the blood to the heart muscle as if the patient has gone for a bypass surgery or angioplasty. With all things, I just want to stress that second opinion is a must when you are advised to go for an interventional procedure. Thank you. ஒரு இருதய நோயாளிக்கு வந்து பைபாஸ் சர்ஜரி ஆஞ்சியோபிளாஸ்டி சிகிச்சை முறை தான் முன்னாடி கொடுக்கப்பட்டு வந்துள்ளது இதற்கான மாற்று சிகிச்சை முறை வந்து இசிபி என்ஹான்ஸ்ட் எஸ்டர்னல் கவுண்டர் பல்சேஷன் ஹீல் யூர் ஹார்ட் வேசோமெடிடெக் இசிபி ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் சென்டர்